answer is no. 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 N O. Not to know that you're thinking about nitric oxide is the word of the day. Check out the show and see what nitric oxide can do for you and how by breathing right, you release it into your body. I'll see you in a minute. Great Ujma to you as well. Great Ujma family. So let's get started. Bring them out. 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 All right, of course, you're going to start with water. Last night, we did the show. And I'm starting to wonder what's up with Facebook, Facebook Live because I see it was a few people on the line. And I didn't know until this morning. I mean, they they um, posted up and everything, and I just seen it this morning. So I want to apologize to those people. You know, um, I work on improving that. Y'all gotta excuse my hair. I just rolled up. Stay hydrated, family. Oh, that felt better, man. I'm going to start drinking a little bit of water before y'all come online because I feel like I'm coming alive again. Hmm. I mean, I had a rough sleep last night. That's two down. Let's get one more. Get those 16 ounces. Oh, by the way, for those that don't know, we have a Malcolm X Festival that will be jumping off on the 20th. It is an outdoor festival. It will be going on all day up at the Millennium Community School. So the community is coming together and they're doing something for Malcolm X's birthday, 5-20-2017. Hope to see you there, all right? Get this toast off, man. Alright, this is the original. Um this is older, of course. So mm, mm, mm. grown, straight grown man. Tastes like I was telling people last night. I like to uh this is the way that I should kind of be shipping it out and stuff because it's not as active but people wouldn't really like the taste so you got to first get into liking the the ambrosia the june the kombucha first before you really can appreciate this this is right before the the vinegar right right before it becomes salad dressing for some of us right so uh um, 
Yeah. So some of those that want mature, y'all need to start letting me know. You, know. you want mature, let me know. I let it age a little bit. It's not it's not sweet. This is especially good for those that that's doing the intermittent or the, the warrior diet. For those that's uh I'm trying to cut down on having certain sugars in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to talk about sugar probably next week. I'm doing some research on sugar right now. This week we are working on the breath. So uh, those that's joining us on Facebook, you got to get over to the YouTube show, Daily Toast. Ujima, we're going to be talking about some more about the breathing. We're going to be talking about N-O today. Not no, but nitric Oxide. All right. I'm gonna check it out. Here we go. Call on the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We call that great and powerful force into our lives. Even though we know it's here. Even though it's all around us. Even though it vibrates in everything. You know what I'm saying? And even though we we can feel it in our hearts, we still call on that power. Even though we know that power is all present, all powerful. And 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 all knowing, we call on that force. We ask that force to be active in our life. We call that force to allow us to become one with it. And we say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our uncles, our aunts, our our our, our friends and our cousins. And in some cases, for some of us, some of our children, we call on them. Right? It's an ancestor that came to me came to my mind that I have been toasting all this time and I never sent them a shout out so you know this start happening when you start doing when you start doing it regularly it's like wow why didn't I mention this because this was one of my good friends I want to I want to toast today and take the time to send out a shot to the ancestor Yusef Weston right pastor Yusef Weston I want to toast him you know, um, I want to celebrate him along with my other ancestors, but he was primary in my life. As we start toasting our ancestors, things start, you start having memories and stuff that you blocked. You know what I'm saying? I was so shocked that when, when he died that it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we, y'all, hopefully some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Sometimes we bury stuff. And sometimes we got to go out and go inside ourselves and start unburying some of these graves. And as they call them, skeletons. We got to start bringing some of these skeletons up out of the closet. And speaking of that, I've been toasting all this time and I never toasted Brother Sepet. Right? I want to I wanna, I wanna toast Brother Sepet. Right? Um, a lot of y'all probably don't know Brother Sepet, but he used to own a hat store. Over on Hudson and uh, Hudson and Cleveland Avenue, um, one of the first brothers to introduce me to entrepreneurship. When my time was going, uh, when my time was going, he was one of the first ones to pick it, pick it up in Columbus. He died some years ago, and like I said, sometimes some of these passings are so shocking to us, you know. Because me and Sepet used to sit around in chair. I used to go over Sepet's house with a uh, hair rule and <clears throat> and chill and then like my friend just like with Pastor um Pastor Yusuf, my friend, we we're very close. Um and when he died we was real close and it was like, wow. So we we salute those people who may not come to our mind but are always in our heart as far as our ancestors today. We toast them and we say, I say from there we move on to this present moment. Today is Ujamaa and what a day it's going to be. Claim your day. Claim your power. Your power is in it now. Claim it. Don't allow nobody else to uh, decide on what type of day you are you are going to have. Don't allow anybody else to determine how powerful this day is going to be for you. You know what I'm saying? Decide now. Right? It's going to be a powerful day. We say our shape, and then we move to our children, our children's children, or to affinity. We remember them in advance so they can remember us when it's our time. We, I toast all the challenges we may experience today. I toast all those things you may need ancestral intercession on. 
I toast all those struggles. I, I toast you on all of your triumphs. I toast you on all your joys. I toast you on all your power. I toast you in peace. And with that, we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, get them pro bodies jumping off. Get my stomach health is in. I mean, it's listen. Get you some pro bodies. We don't do nothing but get some apple cider vinegar and and, and and take a little shot of that and follow it up with some water. Get that live food. We got to start getting some live food. All right. So I want to thank Facebook. I want to send shots out, especially to Miss Sheila. Thank you. Thank you, because I'm seeing you every morning, and I hope and I pray. As a matter of fact, I'm just saying, I know that the ancestors are moving in your life, right? Listen, family, we got to get, today is Ujima, and I need to let y'all know, right? Our ancestors are a wasted resource. It's a resource that we are overlooking. We're not really plugging into it. Start asking for what you need. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to happen miraculously, mysteriously. Money going to appear on the table. It's going to take some work from you. But you have to send out that signal first. Send out that help signal first. Your ancestors are real. And it's a very powerful thing. Make sure you start plugging in. Don't waste that resource. The one thing that we have that, because every people on this planet, has special skills. Everybody is known for something. We big up, oh, no problem. Um, we big up Asians for being good with math. We big up um, uh, Latinos and Hispanics for being good with their hands and, and other stuff. We big up Europeans for, for being very good at stealing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Every people have special skills. And one of the special skills that we have that we do not recognize, one of the best resources we have is that we are very spiritual people. And a lot of times we discount that. We think that that spirituality should only be expressed in a church. When that spirituality is a very powerful weapon. Have you noticed that as black people we could get in any religion and turn it out? <laughs> I'm not petty, I'm just saying, you know. I, but have y'all noticed that we could get into any religion and out religion the people who made the religion up? We could get we get into Buddhism and we could we become more Buddha than Buddha. Right? We get in Islam, we out Islam the the Arabs, we get in Christianity, right? We turn it out. Anything we get in. We become it. When it long as it's spiritual, long as long as the ideas we can see the rewards, we're able to get into it. That's the spiritual gift, family. Now we need to learn to get it back into us. Right? Let's out us us. Let's out us everybody that's trying to imitate us. Right? So yo, Facebook, I wanna say shots out. Oh, real fake media. Salute back to you, my brother. Um, big up your sunrise and a happy old tanks, man. Yo, officially, oh, of course I know I'm live on Iliab. Yo, I got to catch y'all's show because, you know, I'll be going to bed early. You know, I, I can't keep up with you young dudes. I don't know how you do it, Dan, because I know you about my age. I know, I, if anything, I got you by about two years, dog, you know. You know, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, um, um, well, I'm definitely going to make it because y'all doing some important work down there and, and all over the world. Because you are international household name. All right, yo. This is Brother I Tim. Facebook. I'm on my way out. Um, be on the lookout because sometime I you got to throw your thumb up or you got to make a... a, a even sometime when y'all post stuff up, it don't show up till later. So if you out there and I didn't send out shots to you, I apologize, but I love my fam. Yo.
lift up those ancestors and have a great day. Back to I'm off to YouTube, y'all. All right, we up, fam. Thirty minutes is to go. We're working towards it, right? I gotta take another sip of water. Thank you for joining us once again, and once again, thank you for allowing me to share what I do with Facebook because none of y'all be complaining about it, so I appreciate that. So now we're gonna do some more breathing, right? I did the whole breath, so hopefully I ain't got to, I don't have to strip, you know what I'm saying, and take off my shirt today, right? But I, I need y'all to see that by breathing through the nose, the belly expand. I need y'all to see that, right? And then taking a whole breath when we do exercises and we take the whole breath, right? It's a powerful piece. So now let's continue because the, the breath is definitely, I mean, because when it fits into everything, in our breath is unity. In our breath is self-determination. You know what I'm saying? Getting up and practicing takes self-determination and it helps build up the willpower. In our breath, in our breath, there is collective work and responsibility because your breath, when you bring it in properly and bring it down to the lower parts of your body, it exercises the stomach, it exercises the liver, it exercises the ribs and the rib cage and the lungs. So it makes your whole body works as one. That breath brings that collective work inside of you. Right, because we always talk about using the principles from the inside and out. Now today we are on Ujima Cooperative Economics. Now, of course, by us learning to breathe, we are learning to cooperate with ourselves, right? But it also, when we look at that correct uh cooperative economics, I always talk about wasted resources. Our breath is a wasted resource because we breathe wrong. We need to start using that pyramid on our face, right? We need to start building up, right? Building up that personal power, right? That Because when we start breathing, I want you to understand this, and this is the other piece about the cooperative economics, right? We have not done a session where we have meditated more than two or three of us in a room. Let me tell you something, right? If you want to see cooperative economics, you have to participate in some type of meditation workshop. We're eventually going to start doing with Giame, but listen, all of that energy in one room, all five of those qualities being opened up during a meditation session. And because we're social creatures, right, because we're social people. It's something, it's something that happens when you bring a group of us together, right? A group of conscious people together, right? And we're focusing on the breath and we're focusing on meditation. It releases the power. So today, I want to get at you about this thing called nitric oxide, right? Y'all like, what? Nitrous and oxide and stuff you put in the car. No, 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 no. I want to talk to you about a chemical that is released in your body when you breathe right, right? And the nose is a major place. It's one of the major places where it's produced because nitrous oxide is produced when we breathe through our nose. Now, a small amount of it because it only lasts a little bit. But what it does is, I'm going to read, I'm going to read it, but... It's one of the things that help purify the air, but it does oh so much more. Right? Let's read it. Nitric oxide has been shown to be important in the following cellular activity. So it affects you from the inside out. We're talking about cooperative economics, right? How do we build a business from the inside out? People only see the 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 results of the business, right? They don't see all of the inside work that you did, right? People only see the, the, the result of all the work that you put into developing yourself. They don't see all the work that you put in, family, right? Inside out. So, nitric oxide has been shown to be an important, be important in the following activities. 
Listen. Help memory and behavior by transmitting information between nerve cells in the brain. I wish I had my lightning. Did y'all hear that shit? Listen. Help memory and behavior in the transmitting information between nerve cells in the brain. Assist the immune system in fighting off bacteria and defending against tumors. Regulate blood pressure by dilating arteries. Reduce inflammation. All of y'all that's talking about alkaline and acidic, right? When you make the body alkaline, or when you be, when you balance out the body and have the acid doing what it's supposed to do and have the uh, the alkaline in you doing what it's supposed to do, there's a balance. And in this balance, right, it reduces inflammation. It's inflammation that leads to disease, right? It's inflammation that produces the phlegm, right? That, that, that mucus, right? When we're balanced, there's no mucus produced. Improve sleep quality. I must have not been releasing that nitric, not, not, nitric oxide last night. Increases your recognition of senses. So it increases your sense of smell. It improves your sense of sight. Right? Increase endurance and strength. Assist in gastric motility. There have been over 60,000 studies done on citric oxide in the last 20 years. By the way, for those that want to look this up, this is on Nutrition Express Nitric Oxide. N-I-T-R-I-C-O-X-I-D-E. Over the last 20 years, in 1998, check this out. The Nobel Prize for Medicine was given to three scientists that discovered the signaling role nitric oxide so this was such a pivotal thing that the scientists that discovered the, the, the qualities of this thing because for a long time people knew about nitric oxide but they didn't know what it did the three scientists that figured out what this stuff did got the Nobel Prize nitric oxide and heart disease listen Nitric oxide has gotten the most attention due to the cardiovascular benefits. Alfred Nobel, the founder of the founder of the um, Nobel Prize, was prescribed nitroglycerin over 100 years ago by his doctor to help him with his heart problem. He was skeptical, knowing nitroglycerin was used in dynamite, but this chemical helped with his heart condition. Little did he know the nitroglycerin acts by releasing nitric oxide, which relaxes narrow blood vessels, increasing oxygen and blood flow. The interior surface, endothelium of your arteries produce nitric oxide. When, play, when plaque builds up in your arteries, called ar 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 arteriosclerosis, Chlorosis, arterial chlorosis, you reduce your capacity to produce nitric oxide, which is why the physician prescribed nitroglycerin for heart and stroke patients. Now, hold on, Brother Hatem. Are you saying that just by me breathing right, I could release this stuff and I could stop taking nitroglycerin? Now, I'm not saying that directly for those of you on nitroglycerin, but listen. By breathing right, you release nitroglycerin, right? All right. Nitric oxide and erectile dysfunction, y'all. Right? Viagra and other impotence medications work to the due to their action on the nitric oxide pathways. One cause of impotence in unhealthy and aged arteries that feed blood to the sexual organs. Viagra works by influencing enzymes in a nitric oxide pathway, causing a cascade of enzymatic reactions that enhance nitric oxide, causing more blood flow and better erections. 
family, brothers, this means that you could keep your freak on for a longer and a better period of time of your life. Mouth breathing is mess messing up your sex life. <sighs> How to increase nitric oxide in your body. The most common way to increase nitric oxide is through exercise. And what happens when you exercise? You're increasing your breathing. But hold on. Wait. When you run or lift weights, your muscles need more oxygen, oxygen, which is supplied by the blood. As the heart pumps and more pressure to, as the heart pumps with more pressure to supply the muscles with blood, the lining in your arteries release nitric oxide into the blood, which relaxes and widens the vessel's walls, allowing for more blood to pass through. So some of us. In our athletic endeavors, we are robbing ourselves because we are not allowing as much blood to flow as needs to flow. As we age, our blood vessels and nitric oxide system become less efficient due to free radical damage, inactivity, and poor diet, causing our veins and arteries to deteriorate. Think of fire, a fire hose as water flushes or, or rushes through it to put out a fire. It needs to expand enough to handle the pressure, still keeping enough force to put out the fire. Athletes and youth have the most optimal nitric oxide system, reflecting their energy and resilience. Another way to increase nitric oxide is through diet, most notable by consuming amino acid L-arginine and L-citrulline. Arginine, which can be found in nuts, fruits, meats, and dairy, and directly creates nitric oxide. Citrullina inside the cell. Citrullina is then recycled back into an arginine. So this thing self, self recycles. Arginine making even more nitric oxide. Enzymes that convert arginine to citrulline and citrulline to arginine need to function optimally for a century. For, nit uh, for efficient nitric oxide production. We can protect these enzymes and nitric oxide by consuming healthy foods and antioxidants like fruit, garlic, they got soy on here, vitamin C and E, um, COQ10, and alpha lipic acids, allowing you to produce more nitric oxide. Nitric oxide only lasts a few seconds in the body. You know that that's why if you if you ever seen the nitric um the nitroglycerin tablets they're very small. So the more antioxidant protection we provide, the more stable will, it will be, and the longer it lasts. Doctors are utilizing the science of coating stents, the things that they stick inside of you, inside your veins, mesh tubes that prop open arteries after surgery with drugs that produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide for athletes and bodybuilders. All right. Increased nitric oxide has become the new secret weapon for athletes and bodybuilders. Athletes are now taking supplements with L-arginine and L-cetrolene. Now that L-arginine is in um, that's an amino acid that's in Bragg's uh, Bragg's aminos. Also, I think it's in the Bragg's soy aminos, right? Um, not soy, a uh, coconut aminos. Support the flow of blood and oxygen to the skeletal muscles. They also use them to facilitate the removal of exercise-induced lactic acid buildup. Many of us are suffering pains after workouts that we don't need to be suffering, which reduces fatigue and recovery time. So this chemical... Once it's released in your body, and I'm telling you right now, I have another study that I'm going to share with you tomorrow that's going to show you how to increase nitric oxide production. Now, I already told you that when you breathe properly, when in your nose, nitrous oxide is produced, and it goes through, and it helps open up. 
the hundreds, because I want you to think how incredible your body is, right? You have blood flowing in your body, and you have over 100,000 miles, not yards, 100,000 miles as an adult. As a child, they have 60,000, but as an adult, you have 100,000 miles of arteries and veins flowing through your body, feeding every cell in your body. When you breathe right, you release nitric oxide, which goes through your body and expands. It's like this. It expands these arteries and veins so that more, flood, more blood can flow through them. More blood means more hemoglobin that has been, in a sense, oxygenized by you taking the complete breath that I showed you yesterday. Right? So by us breathing right, we naturally release a chemical in us that will help with our heart. That increases our senses. That increases our ability to heal. And increases our strength. Helps us have a healthy sex life. And it's free. Family, what the hell? What in the hell? I'm, I, I'm, I'm giving you... Do you hear what I'm... Come on, the right. Suck it in. Come on, get the breath. Get get that eye shade. All right, remember the whole breath. So now, what I want to focus on is now the rhythmic breath. Because now, those that are taking in Gusasaba Challenge, I have sent the eye shade breath. Right? I'm not even going to get into We're not even going to get into what the eye shade breath is. You can check out the video. You got to take the Guza Saba challenge, right? But let's talk about the rhythmic breath. Now with that, I'm not even taking the whole breath, right? So we want to... We want to work that hole from the stomach all the way through the chest, hole to, so the rhythm goes. Now also I send you a, a it's called um, Breathing by the Numbers. This comes with, when you sign up for the Goose Saba Challenge. Listen, the Goose Saba Challenge is a 21 day challenge, right? In that 21 days, I'm sending you books, I'm sending you videos, and it's free. If you want to donate, you can, right? And and check this out. It tells you that the donation happens on a monthly basis, but I only set it up for one month. So whatever you give only comes out one time. If you don't go to the group, go. Oh, you if you ain't on the Gusab challenge, you ain't in on that group. Go to the group. Once you join the challenge for free. Because I'm guaranteeing, after you experience what happens to you after the first 21 days, you're going to come back and you're going to take the Ngusa Sabra Challenge again and you're going to donate. How do I know this? Because the process works. All right, so let's do the, let's do the full breath because I'm, I'm, I'm at 32 minutes right now. So the rhythm goes, breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two. Now, I know some of y'all, some of y'all thinking like, you breathe in for four, you hold for four, but then you breathe out for six. But I tell them, why is this? We breathe out. Because we have what they call old air inside of us. Old gas is inside because air is a gas. You're bringing in the gas, right? But there's gas still inside of you. So you're giving your body an opportunity to clean itself out. But then also, 
you holding a little bit longer and breathing out longer so you can give the carbon dioxide more of an opportunity to do what it's supposed to do. Right? So now, this is just the start. So we do this for about 10 cycles, 15 cycles, 20 cycles. This whole relaxed and rhythmic breath. And then you fall into your own rhythm. All right? See, because I don't want people thinking that there's only one rhythm to fall in. There's a whole bunch of different other breathing out exercises out there. You have to go out and you have to find them. I'll share some with you, right? We're going to continue because the breath is that important. We're going to continue with it, right? But the piece that I need you to understand is that I don't want you to get, once again, I don't want you to get so rigid and so caught up caught up that if somebody come at you and say, I have a, a rhythm of breath of four, seven, and eight, or I have a rhythm of breath of eight, eight, sixteen, that you can't do it, right? Because the whole piece is to fall into the rhythm, into a rhythm. And I want you all to understand why falling into a rhythm. Rhythm is one of the hermetic laws that we celebrate when we're doing the days, is it not? Right? So once you fall into a rhythm, you allow yourself to fall in line with the law of the universe, which allows things to happen. Because I want you to understand this. Once you fall into a rhythm with your breath, not only are you releasing that nitric oxide, you are exercising your lungs. You're exercising your heart. You're oxygenating the blood. You're allowing the carbon dioxide to do what it needs to do and escape. You're exercising your stomach. You're exercising your liver. All of the, all of the stuff in this major area right here. Right? Because I want you to think about this how important this whole area is. When I was in the military, right? When I was in the military, they used to teach us to shoot for what they call the center mass. They police, they teach you to shoot the center mass. In a life and death situation, you are taught to take care of the center mass. When I'm throwing a punch, I'm throwing it. And I know some of y'all. Well, of course, but I tell is the biggest piece. Then if that's the case, why is it a lot of your natural instinct to bust somebody in the mouth? Why not bust them in the solar plexus? Why not punch them in the heart? You know what I'm saying? If it's so obvious, why do most fights, if you're watching them, most people is trying to hit people in the head. If it's so natural, it's in their mass. Punches, bullets, knives from experts go towards the center mass. This is why when you're watching a boxing contest, they start hitting the body first. Because if I could knock this out of rhythm, this is going to fall. So you developing a powerful rhythm that you begin to follow. And as you follow that rhythm, you exercise all of this inside of you. You allow all the processes to happen. You allow the nitric oxide to start flowing in you. You allow the adrenal glands to start relaxing. You allow a, a feeling of peace. Peace, power, joy to overcome you. And in that moment, when the rhythm becomes natural, you no longer have to think about the rhythm because your mind, that, 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 that monkey part of your mind, falls into the rhythm because it loves rhythms. It falls into the rhythm. The higher part of you is able to communicate with you. And you're able to start programming yourself. So then what starts to happen with the rhythm is, as, as you'll see, we'll begin to start dealing with hypoxia. Right? We'll start dealing with holding the breath. So our rhythmic breath will eventually start going to us retention, retaining the breath. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the future. So now, real quick. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, breathe in, 
how that nitric oxide to flow. Hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two. That's the rhythm. Work on that, all right? So now, tomorrow, we're gonna come, we're gonna talk about some more about nitric oxide, and we're gonna turn, we're gonna talk about how to release more with a breathing process, all right? So now, I'm about to take my supplements. I'm about to take my cold shower. Do my workout and do my breath work. And I pray that you do the same, especially those of you on the Guza Saba Challenge. But I want to show y'all something. This is why I'm not brewing now. Y'all see it? Look at that. One minute is hot. The next minute is not that rhyme, right? I should be I should be around that right. So yo, this brother I tell saying I am out. I'm a little bit over 30 minutes. I thank you for your patience. I think the breath is important enough. We've been ignoring it for so long. I think it's important enough for us to run over just a little bit. Use this neglected resource to improve your life. This is Brother Tim. I'm out for the third time, and I'm saying peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there and for those that want more information about Jeremy journey go to our site it should be right about there